What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps to decide everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. Okay, so I received a channel message in, so I'm going to deliver it. Um, it's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, the channel message I received was, <clears throat> uh oh, hold on. Oh, real quick. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the bestest. Um, we're at 11,397 subscribers right now, so three away from 11.4. So thanks for all the love and support to the channel. You help support a single mama's income stream, single mom with two kids, so I really appreciate it so much. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was... Um, <clears throat> a particular um her particular feminine tarot card reader is about to have um a surge of um people coming back that once um once was on her channel on her channel um and a lot uh, a, a lot a lot a lot a lot of new new people come a lot of attention and uh, a lot of attention will be garnered and um a lot of people will say is what I heard. Okay, so in confirmation for my intuitive kitty. Come on, come on, baby. And that's my intuitive boy. No, that's fat boy. I'm sorry, intuitive's right here. That's fat boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. So you plug it in how it resonates. Come on. Come on. So it's a Fem Tarot card reader. Um, it could be you or somebody you're connected to, but it's a feminine tarot card reader. Um, I didn't hear signs or any of that, but it's a feminine tarot card reader. She has a channel, so she might have a channel on YouTube or a channel on another platform. There's other platforms that have, um, channels. Hold on one second. Let me get him some food. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Um, so yeah, so it's a fem tarot card reader for you or somebody you're connected to, but um, I heard, apparently it sounds like some subscribers left or people left this fem tarot card reader channel uh, for a while or for uh, maybe a while or a little bit or what have you. But now they're about to come back. They're about to come back for some reason. Um, I heard lots of good information, so. You plug it in how it resonates. I don't know why they left in the first place. It might have been out of spite. It might have been out of malice. They might have been jealous because she was, because anybody that, and I say that because anybody that has over a thousand subscribers on YouTube, it's a business. It is a business. Like, seriously. So, and I didn't hear YouTube. I just heard channel. Well, YouTube has channels. Other platforms have channels too. But what I'm saying is if they knew this reader, what Fem Reader, Obviously, if it's like YouTube, for example, and they have over a thousand subscribers, they know they're making money off of it. So they might have intentionally strayed away from the channel to be one less subscriber, one less person. So this person wouldn't be able to grow and increase their business. But now, for some reason, they're about to come back. So I feel for some of these people, it was out of malice and spite and envy and um, low vibrational activity, basically. But now, for some reason, they're about to come back. And it sounds like a lot of them. And new people, which is about to couple in with new people, coupled in with some of the older low vibrational activity people. It's about to make their business increase, their, chan um, their channel increase, and 
Um, but in all fairness, it sounds like this feminine tarot card reader deserves it because um, I heard they put out good content. So, I mean, anybody that makes quality content should deserve the view time, the watch time hours, the, I mean, especially if they're helping their, their collective, their people, their customers, um, their clients, you know, I mean, you know, now, of course, those people have free will to leave. They had, they had free will to leave then. They have free will to leave now. But now they're coming back. Well, they're coming back for a reason. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. But congrats to you, Film Tarot Card Reader, if this resonates for you. Congrats to you because um, um, you deserve it. It sounds like you absolutely deserve it. So, congrats to you if this resonates for you. And one of these particular people will reach out to this reader. Communication outside of the channel with very important information that's really going to help this reader. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay. And one of these people, I guess one of these people that watches your channel, whatever platform you, um, you're on, your uh, film character reader. Um, I feel it's obviously an online platform because I heard channel. Um, so obviously it's an online platform. But somebody watches your channel um, that apparently is going to deliver you very important information. I heard it's going to be very, very helpful to you. Um, it sounds like soon, upcoming in the universe. It doesn't sound like it's happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. And um, I didn't hear a sign on that person. I didn't hear a name. I didn't hear any of that. But it's somebody that watches your channel. Um, I don't know if it's one of the returning ones that did it out of low vibrational activity or a new one or one that's been with you for a minute. You plug it in how it resonates. Everybody on, is on different time of life paths. But I heard it's going to be very important information. It's going to be very important information and it's going to be very useful to you. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Pim Paracore Reader. That's fun. Awesome. Let me see if I hear anything else, okay? One of these feminine tarot card readers will have two plus people reach out to them with very important information. One of these people, it will be such important information this feminine tarot card reader will end up suing a family member. For some, it will be two plus family members. For some, it will be someone in their community. Oh my gosh. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. So, for, so it sounds like at least two of you guys in the universe is about to happen too. Uh, it sounds like your business is about to increase. You're going to have basically a bunch of people from the past that... Sounds like we're in low vibrational activity. It sounds like they wanted to gang stalk your channel for just for their selfish gain. But now it sounds like you've grown. You've grown and they know it's not going to work the way it used to because there's way more people on your channel now than just them. So now they know your channel really helped them and they use it just to, for their selfish gain to build, 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 build. But now they're going to come back to help build themselves again. But they left you in the beginning, it sounds like out of low vibrational uh, actions. But now they're going to come back. And now you're about to get a flood of new people too. So them coupled with the new people is really going to help your business increase. So kudos to you. But for some of you guys, it's one person, it sounds like, about to communicate with you outside of your channel, your social media platform channel business, Tarot Car Reader. For some, it's two plus. And for one of you guys with the two plus, um, it sounds like it's somebody that watches your channel is about to deliver you such important information. Um, now, however, they're going to deliver it to you. I don't know if it's email, snail mail, text message, messenger, what have you, face to face. I'm not sure, but some kind of communication. It reminds me of like message energy and the Kipper. Um, but they're going to deliver it to you, but it's going to be such important information. I heard some of you guys are going to, uh, Use this information to sue, sue, like place a lawsuit on one family member, some two plus family members, some somebody in your community. 
This is what that reminds me of, message energy. Um, and absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if the lawsuit warrants it, you know, if the lawsuit warrants it, obviously. Um, but it sounds like it, it probably does. Um, they have really been in contemplative mode for a while about this, but they're about to do it. A lot has changed. What's your message you have for the Okay, I heard uh, they've really been in contemplated mode a while about this, but um, but they're about to do it because a lot has changed. So this person that's about to um, um, do this, that's about to reach out to you with this important information, um, so much so it's going to place a lawsuit. It's going to not place a lawsuit, but it's going to create a series of chain of events for a lawsuit for you, Fem Terrifier Reader. Some of you guys against one family member, some against two plus family members, some against a member of your community. Um, some kind of horrible wrongdoing or wrongdoings they've done to you in the past. Um, they've been thinking on it a while, for a while whether to deliver it to you, but I heard they're about to because so much has changed. So um, kudos to and kudos to the person about to do this. If you were the person about to deliver this to the feminine tarot card reader, the information for the lawsuit or the other information, because somebody's about to deliver very important, useful information to the fem tarot card reader. Somebody's about to deliver such important information that it's about to uh, create a series of shame events for this fem tarot card reader. It sounds like to go to a lawyer and place a lawsuit on some on family members, some on member or members of the community. So. Kudos to the person. If you are the message energy, oh, what did I do with it? I just had it. Hold on a second, y'all. I just had it. If you are the message energy, I'm about to do this. I don't see it. Hold on. I don't think I put it back in the deck. That is so weird. Oh, I did. I did. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, kudos to you. If you're the messenger to the Femtair card reader is what I'm trying to say. Heavy message energy in here. Okay, so I pulled beginnings reverse, assessing upright. So I think this number nine, number nine or two could be very significant numbers in one's life. Nine or two, it could be possible age of a child of yours or somebody a child you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible um, jersey number, nine or two. I think this energy is you. The person about to deliver this information, very important information to the Fem Tarot card reader, or such important information that it's about to create series of chain events for lawsuits. Um, some on their family members, some on a member or members of the community. I uh, think you've been assessing this situation. I uh, think you've been um, contemplating on the um, situation, and um, you're about to do it. That's what I'm feeling. Beginnings reversed. One particular person about to do this. There is no conflict of interest here now. They thought it would be, but there's not going to be. So they're going to do it. Okay, well, there you go. So, um, okay, yeah. So I'm pulling you, I'm pulling you in person, person or people that's about to do contact this fem tarot card reader i'm pulling in the fem tarot card reader yes but i'm pulling in you person or people that's about to contact this fem tarot card reader too so you're definitely you are message energy um uh, person about to contact the fem tarot card reader i heard you thought there was going to be conflict of interest here with this fem tarot card reader but it turns out through the universe and series of chain events that it's not going to be conflict of interest so you're about to deliver the message the communication to the fem tarot card reader so kudos to you um that person i mean i can see why you were thinking on it now i can totally see why you were thinking on it because you thought there was going to be conflict of interest so i think you thought i think you thought through series of chain of events person message person that the tarot card reader was going to be 
a part of your bit. Maybe you were going to ask them to collab with you in a business situation or work with you in a 3D work situation or or they were going you thought they were going to work with you in a work situation, but it turns out they're not. Um, series of chain events have created it to be different. Um, or you're contemplating asking them to collab with you in a business situation and series of chain events in the universe has made it otherwise. So now there's no conflict of interest. And for anybody who doesn't know conflict of interest, I mean, that's basically like having your cake and eating it too. It's, 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 it creates disparity. It creates, you know, it's. Google conflict of interest if you're not familiar with it, but I would not want conflict of interest either. I wouldn't either. So um, kudos to whoever you are, message energy. Um, maybe you once worked with this fem tarot card reader, or maybe you once, uh, that's what I'm thinking, maybe you once worked with them in the 3D, or you thought they were going to come work for you or work with you in a 3D work situation, but it didn't turn out that way. So that, that's why now you're going to do it because there is no conflict of interest. Or for some, you could be a fa you could be their family member, possibly like a like a extended family member or even immediate. But they have is free willingly estranged themselves away from the family, or um, or they're just estranged from the family. So now there's no conflict of interest, and maybe there's something crazy going on in the family because I heard there was some family in energy in there with um, the lawsuits. Um, and so now you're going, there's no conflict of interest because this FEM tarot card reader is nowhere around for conversations or recountments of of um, situations or yazzy, 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 because they're not around to be there. So there's no conflict of interest. And maybe that's why you're going to reach out to them. But you plug it in how it resonates. I feel it can go both ways like the family energy or a 3D professional business or workplace environment as type energy. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, kudos to you, however that resonates. All right. But the beginnings reverse is the conflict. Um, you thought there was going to be conflict of interest energy here, message person, but there's not. So now you're about to do it. You um, didn't want, you didn't send the message in the past because you thought there was going to be a beginning with this person. I think in a business sense or a workplace aspect or something of that nature, but there's not. So now, since there is no conflict of interest, um, or it could be a family dynamic or friend group dynamic or, or um, something of that nature, but, or maybe, you know, maybe you thought they were going to be at a certain school or a certain uh, place or, um, or something of that nature, but it's not, the universe has made it completely different. So now there is no conflict of interest. So now you can do it. However, that resonates in one's life. You thought there was going to be a beginning. Now there is not. So now you're going to reach out. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. It is going to create a bond here between these two energies. These two energies are very much alike. And you know this person will do the right thing and you're right. Okay, holy crap. I heard it's going to create a bond here between you and this Fem Tarot card reader person about to reach out. You're, I'm drawing you in so strong. I didn't think I was going to. But so you only, you know, your story, not anybody else. So don't force it if it don't fit. But if this is your story, of course, you take it. But if not, you don't force it. Okay. But um, I heard basically there's going to be a bond here between you and this um, Fem Terrico reader. So I heard you're both very alike. So whoever you are, you're both very alike. I feel you're highly intuitive person and you know you're very much alike is what I'm feeling. I feel you're highly intuitive. You probably have already sensed this. Uh, it's probably why you've been in contemplative mode for so long to um to do this but you've held off and held off and held off because i thought you thought that i think you thought that was going to be beginning with this person either in love or business or um uh workplace situation or something like that but but it didn't turn out that way 
So now there's no conflict of interest. So now you're going to do it. But I heard you, you're, you're a lot alike. You and this person are a lot alike. I think you're highly intuitive and you know this. So congrats to you, whoever you are. You can be masculine or feminine. You plug it in, how it resonates. And I didn't hear a sign. This is so interesting. And one of these particular people is about to really spread this one of these feminine tarot card readers channel channel around in a very positive way. They know it helps a lot of people. It's going to help this feminine tarot card readers business grow in a huge way. Wow, this is beautiful, man. I'm so glad I did this one. Y'all know I get the crazy messages sometimes. I do. Um, Cursey, Matt, uh, Black. All a dark arts, hexes, curses, voodoo, hoodoo. But this is a great one. So whoever you are, I, you think highly of this feminine tarot card reader. Whoever you are, uh, whether you're sending the message, very important information, energy, or you're sending the um, such important information on person or people that this fem tarot card reader is going to have such good information that they're going to be able to Go to a lawyer to, for a series of chain of events for lawsuits. I mean, however that resonates. But I think you think very highly of this reader is what I'm trying to say. I heard you're both very alike. So you're both very alike. Um, I think you think highly of this person. And you obviously use your head before just jumping into stuff. Um, and Because of the conflict of interest message. And that's a freaking loop uh, Absolutely. You have to protect yourself. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's beautiful. I heard you. Um, so you, what I'm saying is you obviously think highly of this feminine tarot card reader to spread the channel around. You're, it sounds like at least one of you guys, because there's at least two of you guys in this situation. Of course, you have to plug yourself and refit. For some feminine tarot card readers, it could be more than two. But you plug it in how it resonates. But one of these people, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, somebody down here in this group is about to spread this feminine tarot card reader's channel around. I think word of mouth or social media or both. Um, and I heard it's going to help it grow in huge ways. And I heard it's because you know, person down here, that it really helps a lot of people. Um, and I think you really respect and think highly of this feminine tarot card reader. And you're about to do it because you know it's going to help her business grow. And you know it's going to help the other people. So it's dual positive energy to help her business grow and to help the other people with messages or readings or intuitive guidance or advice or what what have you whatever this person offers services they offer on their channel so you plug it in how it resonates that's really beautiful energy it really is let me see if i hear anything else Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, this is really a beautiful reading. It really, really is. It is. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart chakra. I really, really do. Um, I love you guys so much and namaste.